Hey guys, welcome into my channel. It's Karen Lavender Clothesline. If you're new to my channel, I am a full-time eBay reseller. I spend a lot of time combing through thrift stores and estate sales and barn sales and yard sales, all the sales. Today, I'm sitting across the street from Lucky Dog Thrift Store. I've brought you here probably, it's gotta be almost a year ago, and we had a great time. We found a lot of treasure. So that's what we're doing today. We're going into Lucky Dog Thrift Store, Ephrata, Pennsylvania. I love this store. They have great shopping here. So if you're in the area, you definitely want to stop in. And already I'm seeing this gorgeous picture. Oh, I really like this. What does that say? Made in Japan. Wow. I'm not in the store five seconds and I'm finding things I like. Five dollars. Does have a little chipping on the spout, but look how beautifully painted that is. Okay, I'm going to put that back, in, but give it thought. And you know me, I normally do not, or try to not pick up damaged, but that is really sweet. And I also love this vase here. Let's take a look at this beautiful vase. Oh my goodness. I think that's saying $5. Oh, I really like that. We're going to go ahead and take that one. That's going to be a hard one not to keep. Look how beautiful that is. I don't know how that's painted. I don't believe that's hand painted. Probably transfer wear would be my guess. That is what the bottom looks like. And I think we're gonna start a pile. Okay, right away this is catching my eye. I don't know if somebody made this. It's like a little sewing notion picture frame. I think that's just a craft. I have never seen that before. Super cute for a sewing room. Look at this bird sitting on a shelf. This is Tonala. Oh, he's sweet. $3. Looks like he might have had the location printed on him. That is just a guess. Tanala birds are gorgeous. And the ones that are really big, I've done very well with. But I like him enough. And $3 is a great price. So we're going to go ahead and take him. What else was I seeing? You know, these lusterware pitchers and sugar creamers and teapots very attractive. I wish these were a quicker seller and that they were more profitable. Very pretty, though, sitting there on the shelf. I don't see the sugar bowl anywhere. All right, but we're going to go ahead and take this gorgeous Tanala partridge. Is this a partridge? That might be what it is. This is very attractive. I love these pots when they have a good color and a good, good pattern. Okay, what does that say? High elk Navajo USA, is that what that says? There's a little sticker over it. Five dollars. <laughs> Who needs Goodwill? <laughs> that is really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and grab that also. And my eye is being drawn to this pot here, this cobalt blue pot. Look at the drip glaze on this seashell. Now that could be signed after market, you know, not even market, but after it being made. Three dollars. Really like this pot also. I'm going to go ahead and grab that one. Okay, so here I'm going to scan the stores. So you can see the treasure. Look at all the treasure. And to really do this store correctly, it takes a couple of hours. But I love the idea of popping in and out. So now that I've remembered where this was, I mean, I kind of knew and remembered from last time. But making my way here today, I'm like, okay, I have to be stopping in here more often. They have great treasure. Love this place. All right, let's go down this way and see what we can find. This cookie jar is catching my attention. I had stopped picking up cookie jars. Lid and cookie jar, $10. It's like a heavy crock. So I wouldn't pick this up for eBay because this thing must be a good eight pounds. That's what it looks like on the bottom. I really can't tell the age of it. I do like the pattern. The heart is a little bit tilted. I guess somebody stenciled that. But I do like the idea that it's nice and big for big cookies. All right, we're going to leave that one for somebody else. I tell you guys, this has got to be the best job in the world. <laughs> Let's go shopping and looking for treasure. I see some puppies sitting on the shelf there. I don't know who makes them. What else do we see? Let's take a look at what's on this shelf. Lots of liquor bottles and whiskey bottles. There could be really valuable ones, but I see so many of them, and I have a tendency not to pick them up. Here are some houses. You guys saw I picked up a lot of 20 
of the um, Department 56 houses, and that's what this is. This is the Dickens Village series, and this one, I believe, is $12. I think I paid between 2 and $3 for mine. I'm just about to list them. So if you're waiting for the ones that I got at the barn sale, they're coming, guys. I'll probably be listing those tomorrow. A few little dolls, some china. What are these little figurines? I don't know my figurines. Okay, they're $4. I don't know who paints them. I feel like I've seen these before. Oh, I'm going to put that guy back. Lots of salt and pepper shakers. This is one of the Lusterware ones that I was just talking about. They're so pretty. I want these to be, to be valuable. I see a lot of this Lusterware. I think they're great. Very colorful. Look at these figurines back there. Let's see if we can get those out and take a look. Those look like they're really old. Four dollars. Just little figures. I'm not sure what, what they go to. And I see another set back there. Let me see if I can get those out without breaking anything. Yeah, it looks to be the same maker. A child receiving an ice cream. These look to be quite old. Leave a comment down below if you know what company is making these. Okay, I've never seen this before. This is a bottle puzzle or a puzzle bottle. This is all wood. I hope I don't drop this. I want to bring this in the light for you guys. This bottle is all puzzle pieces. Look how fantastic this is does seem to be missing its top. Have you guys ever seen this? Did somebody make this? That is just fantastic. Looks to be signed on the bottom. Really wish it had its top. I would scoop that up in a minute. And I don't see it. It was just sitting here. Wooden figures carved. This looks to be all hand carved. I recently picked up a little Santa gnome, and he just steals my heart. I did list him, I think. He's on my store right now. I love stuff like that. Oh, what are these back here? What is this? Is this a wooden tobacco jar? That is my best guess. Again, I have to bring it out into the light. What does this say? Handcrafted by Jose Encarnacion. Yeah, I'm guessing tobacco. Not sure about that. Okay, so I am squeezing between this aisle. <laughs> these two these two bookcases, these two walls. Good thing I didn't eat extra food this morning. Rose bell, little candlesticks. I'm seeing quite a bit of this in the stores lately. What else do we see? Some metal contemporary art. I don't know who sold that. Very eye-catching. Here is a chrome cake um, plate and cover, domed. Let's turn around and see what's on these shelves. Okay. I see a lot of this glassware. I'm not sure who made this. I've seen this in blue. This might be Wedgwood. I'm not sure. The green is pretty common. Let's see what else we find. There's a teapot and sugar and creamer. And does it say what it is? Three cups. Cream of sugar teapot, $14. A few of them have some chips. This looks like made in Japan, I'm guessing. Okay, I know nothing about this piece of pottery. It reminds me of a Japanese piece I picked up a while ago that were um, children um, sitting on a peach. This one's $2. It looks to be the same style. I'm not saying it is. Oh, that's very interesting. So it is like a dome for something or to cover something? I'm guessing. I'm not quite sure. Here's a piece of satin glass. I picked up a piece the other day. Not really highly valuable, but the piece I picked up, I loved the green color. I'd love to see it, you know, sitting on a windowsill so the sunshine would come through. I love colored glass. It reminds me of when I was younger and my mom would bring me to antique stores 
And I loved when the antique stores put all of the jeweled colored glass in their windows. So pretty. Oh my goodness, this is very fun. Wee Pals, Lunchbox, Snoopy, being an astronaut. Is that, is that original? It is. Okay, what else do we see? An iron doorstop, an iron, iron doorstop. It's a pretty little rice bowl. What else are we seeing? Oh, a piece of California pottery. This is a pretty bowl or a planter. I, I would call it a bowl because it doesn't have the hole. Number 1306 USA. Not especially a high dollar profit. What do they want for it? $10, which I think is a fair price. More goodies, please come in. Okay, don't mind if I do. Wow, this place just goes on and on. So many secret little corners. Look at all of this treasure. Seems to be a lot of tools and boy stuff. <laughs> I'm sure you guys will have a field day with that comment. What is in this back room? You could get trapped in here. This is Christmas. Wow. Wow, wow. Any blow molds? I love blow molds. I don't really have them in my yard, but I love finding blow molds. Okay, I don't think we're going to go through all of this. We're going to go back out into the main section and keep going the way that we were so that I can stay focused of where we have been and where we are going. This is just carnival glass, $15. Pretty color. I always like that color. What is that color called? Is this marigold? Might be marigold. Look at this cup. Je desire et arrive. I don't know what that means. That's French. I desire a visit, maybe. De la Pog. De la Pog. Pen? I don't know. <laughs> there goes my superpower not being able to read foreign languages. I don't know if you guys heard me say that. I said if I could have a superpower, it would be able to read foreign languages. Everything I look at has some kind of printing in another language that I can't read. And I'm sure there's all good information, and I'm just not, not knowing what it says. Okay, a little bit of Corel or Corningware. Corningware. Corel? Now I'm confused. Let's see what it is. It is Corningware. I do like this white pot. Oh, it's iron. This is nice. It's an enamel. Looks to be in good shape. Let's see who's making this white pot. Do I want to ship this big pot? No, I don't. Okay, who is this buffet server? That's Corning also. $15. It's a nice pot for $15. A good paella? Mmm. I love Spanish food. All right, let's put that back on. I'm not going to want to ship that, though. Iron pans. Always lots of iron pans. Recently, I found a Victoria iron pan, but um, that brand doesn't bring good money, so I didn't buy it. Okay, just checking out this shelving unit. Oh, look at this little tiny carved boar. I'm guessing it's a boar. It's a dollar. That is so sweet. Looks to be a soap dish with elephants on it. Do we want a soap dish with elephants on it? Of course we do. Can I get this down? Three dollars. Oh, we're taking that. What is this made out of? It's almost like a pink marble. Oh, that's beautiful. I hope there's no damage that I'm missing. Okay, we're going to start a little pile at my feet because I'm not near the front register where my other pile is. So we're going to take that. Let's finish this top shelf. A little elephant with his trunk down. Everybody always says elephants have to have their trunk up for good luck. There's a little pitcher. Who's making that premiere? Here's a bell. $20. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. What is this? Is this alabaster? Three dollars. Wow, that's pretty. This is natural stone. Look at the veining in it. 
Yeah, I'm taking this home with me. I really like this. It's amazing that they can take a hunk of stone and create something so beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna take both those pieces. Okay, I am truly like a kid in a candy shop. Every single thing is catching my attention. Look at this glass bowl. It is like a pleated or a ripped glass in a, I'm gonna call this a tobacco color, maybe a cognac color. And while the glass does not seem, you know, super old, and I don't know if this is the original lid, it feels like it is. That is a perfect fit. Five dollars. Not sure what a person would keep in this. Again, probably tobacco or a candy dish. I'm going to go ahead and take this. I think this is really great. Okay, I'm starting to realize we probably won't fit the whole story in one video. <laughs> there are so many booths. Really interesting. Wow, look at the bells. That's a lot of bells. Somebody collected bells. Oh, this is reminding me of somebody. I don't know who this is. It's a T.Y. Buck. Okay, what show or cartoon is he from? Leave a comment down below if you recognize this little guy. Behind him is a brass bell. I generally do not buy bells. I've bought a few, like, um, Fenton bells, but generally, unless they're antique harness jingle bells, those I love finding on the leather strap. Okay, some different products. Sometimes a product is discontinued and will bring very good money. I don't even go there. It's just so much work for me. But I know that you can really find a lot of good products uh, with high profit. Okay, what are these? Fake fingernails. Look at that. A dollar. Broadway nails. I should look those up. Number one selling nails in the world. A dollar. Okay, and this is Bath and Body Secret Wonderland. Lots of Avon. Always Avon. The other day I picked up a green dish in the barn sale. It was so pretty. But it's Avon. <laughs> okay. Wow, look at the size of this guy. Oh, he looks a little scary. <laughs> he would be good for Halloween. What is he made out of? I think he's... Oh, is that a ceramic? I think it might be a ceramic. Wow, he's scary good. What do they want for him? $95. This is a daisy pattern I've seen before. I've forgotten who's making this. Just says made in Japan. It's got some damage to it. I really like that pattern. More rooms, 4,000 square feet. What? <laughs> Okay, this is usually the sale shell, 50% off, over $3 items except firm. Okay, so anything over $3 is 50% off. Don't see anything, a little pig. <laughs> I love a good pig. Okay, we're gonna keep going around this way. We all know what this is, Ray done. I have sold very little of that, and I've had big opportunity to buy into it. Just not really into Ray Dunn. It's so overproduced. I like more unique things. But if you like Ray Dunn, I'm not. I'm not trying to criticize it. I'm just saying it's not my not my cup of tea. Okay, let's try to scoot back here in amongst all of this teapot. Oh, there's sort of a, um, a tribal drum up there, $50. Trip glaze on this is gorgeous. I'm not big on brown pottery as a general girl. Okay, what else? I'm just scanning, scanning. Oh, I thought that was a snow baby. Let's see what this is. Is this a snow baby? But she's dressed like a, what does that say? Egg, egg bunny? I'm not sure what that says. Six dollars. That is very unique. I have never seen that. We're gonna put her there. Is that a mistake leaving her? I don't know. 
Okay, guys, you see this sign here? Sale jewelry, a dollar each. This dollar each is for anything on the whole thing or just that top anything shelf? On the whole oh, dear. <laughs> Where does one begin? Ah, I wish you guys were with me to tell me what to buy here. A dollar each. Wow. Wow, wow. I am not quite sure what I would even choose. Okay, let's play a game, guys. Would you take that for a dollar? <laughs> Wouldn't that be great if you guys could really tell me, those of you who really know jewelry, you could just leave a comment down below, but it would be instant. It would be live. I should take you shopping live. That would be a good idea. Okay, rings. I think I'm going to have to pass on it all because I have no idea, unless something is marked, you know, and it's a brand name like Monet or something like that, then I would know. Beautiful, though. Very fun. But I'm going to say no to all of the $1 pieces of jewelry. So if you guys want to come take a look at this sale jewelry, this is New Holland, Pennsylvania. <laughs> it's just a print. <laughs> look at that face. Three fifty. Oh, I wish he was original. Boy, is that cute. Okay, we're going to set him back down. This is a pretty yellow jug. It's got some issues to it. Souvenir doll back in the back. I still have my my doll from Greece that my papuli gave me when I was young. I'll have to bring that out someday. I would never sell her. I think I have mine and my sister's holding both of them. Okay, guys, so come into Lucky Dog Thrifts in New Holland, and you can meet Mary, the owner. She has an amazing selection, not only for antiques and collectibles and linens, but leather belts. You guys know I love leather belts, and she's got a great collection. And she also has some really good vintage clothing. All right, we didn't even see half of what's in this store. Hopefully, I'll be able to bring you guys back with me next time. Here is a polo belt. What did I pay for this? $4, I think. So great finds here. All right, guys. So this is the business card with the information, the Lucky Dog Thrift Shop and used to be. Mary is the owner. She's a sweetheart. Let her know that I sent you. And it is on 158 East Main Street, New Holland, Pennsylvania. Thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours.